For Complex News, I'm Hanuman Welch. As comic book fans around the world still process the passing of legendary comic creator, publisher, Marvel Comics titan, and the greatest hype man the medium has ever known, Stan Lee, we here at Complex thought now would be exactly the perfect moment not only to eulogize the man, but unpack just how far and wide his impact across pop culture actually was. I wouldn't even be standing here if it weren't for the first comic book I ever picked up, Uncanny X-Men 262, published in 1990. Sure, Stanley wasn't writing the series any longer, that honor fell to the equally legendary Chris Claremont, but his name was still on the masthead of every single issue. And it was his hand that created the mutants in 1963 as a stand-in for the racial and social upheaval facing the country at the time. It also planted the seeds for a lifelong appreciation of the medium and the men and women who devoted their lives to putting out books every single month. Born Stanley Lieber, he served in the US Army in the Signal Corps from 1942 to 1945 and made his timely comics debut as Stanley in 1941, writing Captain America Comics issue number three before entering service in 1942. When he returned from service, Timely had been renamed Atlas, but superheroes had fallen off in favor of westerns. So really, Stan was Woody from Toy Story in reverse. By the time DC Comics relaunched with the Justice League, Stan picked up his pen and with Jack Kirby, created the Fantastic Four in 1961. For Lee to watch a medium, he dedicated his life grow from a reviled throwaway form of children's literature and World War II era propaganda to a multi-billion dollar a year industry is about as fitting an end one could hope for a man who lived with his eyes to the skies, looking for the contrails, streaking off the capes of heroes in flight. Lee wrote from his own human condition. Hoping to avoid anti-Semitism, he adopted the last name Lee as a pseudonym and it stuck. And the racial and political challenges faced by people in the real world would be reflected in the pages of Marvel Comics. In a now deleted tweet from his bullpen bulletin days, Stan shared a 1968 write-up saying in part, quote, racism and bigotry are among the deadliest social ills plaguing the world today. But unlike a team of costumed supervillains, they can't be halted with a punch in the snoot or a zap from a ray gun. The only way to destroy them is to expose them, to reveal them for the insidious evil they really are. In addition to his idealistic and deeply progressive approach to crafting characters that reflected all the flaws and redeeming characteristics that made Marvel books so compelling, it was Stan Lee who first introduced the idea of shared universes. Spider-Man turning up in the pages of the Fantastic Four. The Human Torch alongside Namor the Submariner and the X-Men facing off against the Avengers were all blueprints laid out by Stan. Without those early cross-pollinations, comic fans would never see universe-spanning crossover events like the kree Skrull War, which would be explored in 2019's Captain Marvel, Civil War, which was already captured on screen and introduced Spider-Man into the MCU, and the literal dozens of crossover events that have become an industry standard, all thanks to the groundwork Lee put in place during those early days of Marvel. I remember picking up a dog-eared copy of Secret Wars from the dollar bin and realizing that all these characters I had seen individually over the years all lived, breathed, died in the same shared universe. My tiny little brain could barely comprehend it at the time, and it was that same sense of wonder that kept fans of Marvel Comics and Lee invested for a lifetime. Each team and character introduced by Lee was representative of the times they were created in, characters that had a little something for everyone. As a reader, you could find yourself within those pages. Lee and Jack Kirby's Fantastic Four faced the challenges of the traditional family unit, the Incredible Hulk was a case study in self-destructive impulses, and Lee and Steve Ditko's created Spider-Man was all about the burden of responsibility. Hell, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee's creation, The Black Panther, has shattered pretty much every box office record there is. Outside of all of his creations, Lee's greatest accomplishment was laying the foundation for what is contemporary pop culture. Marvel's heroes were the results of Cold War paranoia and breakneck scientific revolution that consumed the consciousness of the world. Today, the Marvel Cinematic Universe is shaping up to be the most successful schematic of an interconnected universe of characters ever put to film. The influence and financial incentive was so powerful that DC and Warner Brothers have built their own interconnected cinematic universe. Universal Studios attempted a dark universe of their own rebooting classic movie monsters, and the Godzilla and King Kong universe that Warner Brothers is crafting is moving ahead at full steam. Lee's shared universe was fully realized with the MCU, and birthed the trend of shared universes that we're currently living through in Hollywood. The most fitting of all obituaries for a man who helped end the age of billion dollar heroes is that he lived long enough to see the world catch up with the thing he'd known all along. Superheroes were much more than the well-trod terrain of children's imaginations. With every single one of his cameos in the MCU, the comic creator finally got his chance to run wild in the worlds he had a hand in creating. Avengers 4 will feature the entire cast of the 11 year history of the MCU, and that wouldn't even be close to feasible if it weren't for the success of the interconnected Marvel Comics universe laid down by Stan Lee, Jack Kirby, Steve Ditko, and countless others beginning in the 1960s. The worlds of heroes would go on to shape American pop culture beyond anything Lee could have hoped for when he first began writing for Timely Comics in 
1939. Lee has appeared in one way or another in virtually every film based on a Marvel character released over the last two decades. He'll make his final Marvel movie cameos next year in 2019's Captain Marvel, Avengers 4, and hopefully Spider-Man Far From Home. A Stan Lee cameo has become a hallmark of Marvel movies at this point, but it'll be bittersweet to know that the next handful will be the last time audiences are searching for a bus driver or a mailman mugging to the camera, complaining about the traffic in New York City thanks to the latest alien invasion. That's all for now. For everything else, subscribe to Complex on YouTube. For Complex News, I'm Hanuman Welch.